Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lincoln here and um just let you know if you're watching this video right now, there are spoilers, so I'm sure most of you've seen this movie by now, but don't watch if you haven't. It contains spoilers. I remember last year how I did kind of a little review on Avengers Infinity War when it came out and I saw it like the week second week after it came out, but this year Ian said he saw it well Ian did, but this year Ian said he saw oh, Endgame on the first weekend and yep have pictures of it yep I'm just sorry about that um I just wanted to say I know it's been breaking a lot of records lately and it was and I just gotta say this this one became Ian's favorite, um, favorite Marvel movie because of the Avengers Assemble scene. Anyway, I'm going to start off with, it starts off kind of like picking up where it left off. I mean, it kind of starts off with Hawkeye and his family about to have a picnic, and all of a sudden his family, like, disappears because of what Thanos did, and then, then, what else, um... What else did he do? What else happened? And then, um, then it shows Iron Man and Nebula on the, on the ship, and Dear Mr. Fantasy by Traffic is playing, and eventually Captain Marvel comes out to save them, and then they, they team up with everyone else, and <laughs> it's really funny how Iron Man thinks that Rocket was like a Build-A-Bear doll, but, um, Thor's in the ice area because he's ticked off because he thinks he failed, but anyway, um, Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, um, here's, <clears throat> apparently they decide to go after Thanos, and then once they get to the planet, Thor slices off Thanos' head, because he went, he thought he was going for the head, and then five years after that, everything was gloomy, and then a rat comes and gets Ant-Man out of the quantum realm, and then he, he finds his daughter, apparently, he goes to his daughter's house, she's all grown up. And he finds the Avengers and just decides to, like, he, he explains to them, and then they eventually go time-traveling. I even like the part where they show, well, Hulk, Hulk's now big now, and Bruce Banner's like the Hulk forever, but he's all happy and all, and they meet up, him and Rocket meet up with Valkyrie, and then Thor's all fat, and his hair grown out again, and Korg and Meek are playing, playing Fortnite, and eventually they talk Thor into coming, and then eventually they all join up with the Avengers, they team up, they put on these suits to go time traveling. I like how Captain America versed Captain America from the past, and they just got all the stones to like, um, what do you call it, um, just so they can redo everything and undo everything, but sadly one of them didn't make it back because they showed the Red Skull again, and Hawkeye and Black Widow were in Vol Vormir, and Black Widow sacrificed, well, Hawkeye was going to sacrifice himself, but Black Widow ended up doing it, because she didn't, you know, anyway, I mean, they kind of had trouble getting back, um, um, Nebula and War Machine had trouble getting back because of, because of, um, because Nebula, Nebula Thanos and Gamora found her, and apparently th the, the, the past Nebula, they figured out that there was a future Nebula, there were two Nebulas, and yeah, that's why she got, she had trouble getting back, but other than that, um, the Hulk used the Infinity Gauntlet to, sma to snap his fingers to undo things, and then eventually Thanos finds them, but Nebula starts shooting at the tower and then destroys it. Then, um, eventually, um, um, Captain America eventually gets to use Thor's hammer when Thanos comes and then they start fighting Thanos. Then all of a sudden, his army comes and the Black Order comes and then everyone else. But then all of a sudden, the Black Panther shows up and, um, this is like my favorite part of the movie where all the revived Avengers, revived heroes that died in Infinity War come back. And then, um, and then they all team up together to take down Thanos. 
and I'm gonna react to that scene because that's like that's like my favorite scene in the movie. Right. But I'm not gonna show it to the there's copyright. And this part, when all of his army was coming back and the Black Order came back, I thought it was hopeless because I don't know how he was going to take on that. All of that. And his shield is broken. Then that's when... And the Black Panther shows up. And the Falcon, Drax, Doctor Strange, Mandis, Star-Lord, and Spider-Man comes swinging in. And all the other revived heroes, oh, Groot and Bucky, the Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange and Wong. Yeah, Captain Marvel does swoop in soon. And then Ant-Man and War Machine and Rocket get out of that building. Yep. There were some scenes cut out, yep. Yeah. He finally yells Avengers Assemble Assemble Yes And then it's all like that And then they all And Ant-Man punches one of those huge monster thingies Yep Anyway, um, um, during the fight, um, apparently, <laughs> Gamora kicks, um, Star-Lord finds Gamora, and then th he says he thought he lost her, and then he kicks her, him in the crotch, <laughs> which was funny, but other than that, um, Captain Marvel does come and destroys Thanos' warship, and then, um, eventually, somehow, he, Thanos is about to snap the fing snap his fingers, when he said I am inevitable, but then all of a sudden it he didn't it didn't work because Iron Man had it, and he snapped his fingers after he said I am Iron Man, and then all Thanos's army vanishes, and then including Thanos he vanishes too, and then but sadly we lose Iron Man because that killed him when he snapped his fingers, which is really which is kind of sad for his family because he now has a little daughter and he was married to Pepper Potts. Anyway, we might have to do a part two to this, so yeah, stay tuned for that, because we're running low on this camera.